Welcome to Electron Line. Well, how much would you weigh if you were to land on a neutron star? Well, first of all, landing on a neutron star is not as easy as you think. It's not even easy to land on Mars, for example, because the gravitational attraction on Mars is relatively large and there's not a lot of atmosphere to slow you down. There would be no atmosphere to slow you down and the gravitational force would be much greater, of course, than on Mars. So let's say that you manage to land on a neutron star. You bring down your bathroom scale, you place it down on the ground, you get outside there, obviously you need a spacesuit. You get on top of your scale, of course it has to be a special scale that can read very heavy weights. And how much you, would you weigh? Well, let's say on Earth you weigh 200 pounds, which is equivalent to a mass of about 90 kilograms. And of course the weight is your mass times acceleration due to gravity, which can be calculated using Newton's law of gravity. Well, g is a known constant, that's anywhere the same in the universe. The mass, let's say the mass is twice the mass of the sun, so we need a 2 there. This is the mass of the sun, and this is the mass of you, 90 kilograms, assuming that your spacesuit is relatively light and then you divide that by the radius squared. Now the radius is 10 kilometers, which is 10,000 meters. You square that. Since the radius is so small, because the neutron star is so dense, that gives you an enormous weight of 240 trillion newtons. Hmm. Well, that's 240 times 10 to the 12 newtons, which is about 50 trillion pounds. And of course, if you want your mass equivalent, mass weight equivalent in units of kilograms. Of course, kilograms are a unit of mass, so when we want the equivalent, that would be an equivalent of about 25 trillion kilograms. So you would have a weight as if you had a mass of 25 trillion kilograms. Well, obviously, you don't have that much mass, but you would be attracted to the surface by these enormous gravitational forces. So you would have the same forces acting on you as if you had a mass of 25 trillion kilograms or a weight of 50 trillion pounds. Well, what would happen to you under that kind of circumstance? Everything, your spaceship, your scale, your spacesuit, and you would simply get pulled down and you become part of the surface. You become reduced. The forces would be so great that the that the uh, space between your nuclei, your atoms, would simply be squished down and you'd become a smaller than microscopic layer on top of the neutron star. You would not be able to be, to be found. If another spaceship landed and somehow could withstand those forces, you wouldn't be able to find anything on the surface except a small, thin layer, undetectable, of neutrons and protons and electrons on the surface of the planet. Uh, not the planet, of the neutron star. That would be quite a planet. Anyway, so you can see the force of gravity are absolutely enormous and your weight would be incredible. 50 trillion pounds. And that. Oh, you want to see it in zeros? All right, okay, in zeros. Your weight, W for weight, would be 50 with 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12 more zeros. That would be your weight on top of a neutron star. Oh, Do this. pounds, LB for pounds. It's a lot. <laughs> All right, what do we got next?